Welcome to a new episode of Science in Context. I'm Sabine, and this week, Dr. Ilaria Dorigati and Professor Nicholas Grassley join me to speak about vaccines and therapeutics research. Ilaria, what is the vision for this research theme? Hi, Sabine. So modeling is a powerful tool to inform the effective development and implementation of vaccines and therapeutics throughout the whole pathway of development. For instance, from the analysis of preclinical results to identify the most promising candidates, to clinical study design, to the modeling of the immune response to natural infection and vaccination, to the final stages of development where impact modeling allows to project the expected effect of vaccination strategies in the general population, including also the monitoring of the effectiveness of interventions. So in summary, we use mathematical models to inform public health policy and planning, both at the local and global scales. Nick, why is it so important at this current time? Thanks, Sabine. It's an exciting time for vaccine development. Uh, During the COVID pandemic, RNA vaccines were licensed for the first time. So there's now a race to develop this technology for other infectious diseases and as therapeutics. At the same time, the regulatory environment and design of trials has changed, allowing a faster path from the first in human studies to a licensed product. So as you heard from Ilaria, math modeling is playing an important part in this process, helping to design efficient trials and evaluate the potential of new products with specific profiles. Ilaria, this theme focuses on vaccines for global health specifically. Uh, Can you explain a bit more? So our research focuses on interventions more generally, including vector control and also vaccination and therapeutics, which aim to improve population health globally. So we work with industry and global stakeholders such as WHO and Gavi, as well as many other initiatives to tackle the infections that pose a high disease and economic burden across several tropical and subtropical countries, as well as other low and middle income countries around the world, to inform the development and implementation of programs and policies for global health and for a fairer and more equitable society. Thank you both so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.